brought to you by wikivd.com. Francis Oldham, Kelsey. Francis Kathleen Oldham Kelsey, CM, was a Canadian pharmacologist and physician. As a reviewer for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, she refused to authorize thalidomide for market because she had concerns about the drug's safety. Her concerns proved to be justified when it was shown that thalidomide caused serious birth defects. Kelsey's career intersected with the passage of laws strengthening FDA oversight of pharmaceuticals. Kelsey was the second woman to be awarded the President's Award for Distinguished Federal Civilian Service by President John F. Kennedy. Birth and Education Born in Shawnigan Lake on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Kelsey attended St. Margaret's School in the provincial capital, graduating at age 15. From 1930-1931 she attended Victoria College. She then crossed the country to enroll at McGill University, where she received both a BSc and a MSc in pharmacology. Encouraged by one of her professors, she wrote to E. M. K. Geiling, M.D., a noted researcher, who was starting up a new pharmacology department at the University of Chicago, asking for a position doing graduate work. Geiling presumed that Francis was a man and offered her the position, which she accepted, starting work in 1936. During her second year, Geiling was retained by the FDA to research unusual deaths related to elixasulfonilamide, a sulfonamide medicine. Kelsey assisted on this research project, which showed that the 107 deaths were caused by the use of diethylene glycol as a solvent. The next year, the United States Congress passed the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act of 1938. That same year she completed her studies and received a Ph.D. in pharmacology at the University of Chicago. Working with Geiling led to her interest in teratogens, drugs that cause congenital malformations. Early career Upon completing her Ph.D., Kelsey joined the University of Chicago faculty in 1942. Like many other pharmacologists, Kelsey was looking for a synthetic cure for malaria. As a result of these studies, Kelsey learned that some drugs are able to pass through the placental barrier. While there she also met fellow faculty member Dr. Fremont Ellis Kelsey, whom she married in 1943. While on the faculty at the University of Chicago, Kelsey was awarded her MD during 1950. She supplemented her teaching with work as an editorial associate for the American Medical Association Journal for two years. Kelsey left the University of Chicago in 1954, decided to take a position teaching pharmacology at the University of South Dakota, and moved with her husband and two daughters to Vermilion, South Dakota, where she taught until 1957. She became a dual citizen of Canada and the United States in the 1950s in order to continue practicing medicine in the U.S., but retained strong ties to Canada where she continued to visit her siblings regularly until late in life. Work at the FDA and thalidomide In 1960, Kelsey was hired by the FDA in Washington, D.C. At that time, she was one of only seven full-time and four young part-time physicians reviewing drugs for the FDA. One of her first assignments at the FDA was to review an application by Richardson Merrill for the drug thalidomide as a tranquilizer and painkiller, with specific indications to prescribe the drug to pregnant women for morning sickness. Even though it had already been approved in Canada and more than 20 European 
and African countries, she withheld approval for the drug and requested further studies. Despite pressure from thalidomide's manufacturer, Kelsey persisted in requesting additional information to explain an English study that documented a nervous system side effect. Kelsey's insistence that the drug should be fully tested prior to approval was vindicated. When the births of deformed infants in Europe were linked to thalidomide ingestion by their mothers during pregnancy, researchers discovered that the thalidomide crossed the placental barrier and caused serious birth defects. She was hailed on the front page of the Washington Post as a heroine. For averting a similar tragedy in the U.S., Morton Mintz, author of the Washington Post article, said, Kelsey, prevented, the birth of hundreds or indeed thousands of armless and legless children. Kelsey insisted that her assistants, Oyam Jiro and Lee Geismer, as well as her FDA superiors who begged her strong stance, deserved credit as well. The narrative of Dr. Kelsey's persistence, however, was used to help pass rigorous drug approval regulation in 1962. After Morton Mintz broke the story in July 1962, there was a substantial public outcry. The Kafafa Harris Amendment was passed unanimously by Congress in October 1962. To strengthen drug regulation, companies were required to demonstrate the efficacy of new drugs, report adverse reactions to the FDA, and request consent from patients participating in clinical studies. The drug testing reforms required stricter limits on the testing and distribution of new drugs to avoid similar problems. The amendments, for the first time, also recognized that effectiveness should be required to be established prior to marketing. The new laws were not without controversy. As a result of her blocking American approval of thalidomide, Kelsey was nominated for the President's Award for Distinguished Federal Civilian Service by John F. Kennedy, becoming the second woman so honored. After receiving the award, Kelsey continued her work at the FDA. There she played a key role in shaping and enforcing the 1962 amendments. She also became responsible for directing the surveillance of drug testing at the FDA. Kelsey retired from the FDA in 2005, at age 90, after 45 years of service. In 2010 the FDA established the Kelsey Award, to be awarded annually to an employee. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.